Serato DJ Pro Analyze Files. This little button right here. So many people out there don't know how to find this button right here and how to analyze their music, which is super, super important. If you have music and it's not analyzed and you got files like this with this little orange electric bolt right here, you're gonna be in a world of problems. Serato DJ is almost never gonna crash, but if it's gonna crash, it's because you're, you're playing corrupted music. If you see at the bottom here, it says corrupt file. This file contains invalid audio data. When you play this song, it's going to play for a while, but as soon as it hits that point where there's like an incorrect file or something is wrong with that track, it's just going to crash the entire Serato. It's very rare that this is ever going to happen. And there's been times that I've played corrupted songs like in the club or at a wedding or something. And I'm like freaking out. What I always have to do is I got to go find another version of that song and I'll either just like mix it into itself or try and match it up with the same time and then just drop that next track in. It's very important that you're not playing these corrupted songs and it's very very important that you analyze your music in Serato DJ Pro. So I'm going to show you if you're having a problem finding this button. The only issue is that you're not loading Serato DJ Pro offline. The problem is that you don't want to have your controller plugged in and that's it. Like there's no other thing that you got to worry about when you're working in Serato DJ Pro, like doing your prep work, you're supposed to be doing this offline. So everyone is able to download Serato DJ Pro and mess around with it and build crates. That's all free. And when you're in the free version, you're going to have this button. But what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to turn on my mixer and then you're going to see that as soon as it syncs up and it's ready to go and you're live, this button is going to go away. So the only time this button is going to show up is during prep time. So make sure you're spending some time to actually work on your music. Like when I download, this is my brand new folder of new music. When I get that, I'm, I'm not done yet. As you can see, I go through, I analyze all my music. I work on my cue points. I color code the music. And this is where I left off. Like this is as far as I got. I still got more to do. Some stuff comes this way, some doesn't, but for the stuff that isn't, I always make sure I'm color coding my music and really putting the time into my prep work. And what comes with time in prep work is analyzing your files. This is so important. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn on my mixer and I'm gonna show you the difference of what happens when you're live versus not live. All right, so it's in, it's connecting, and in one second, all of this is gonna go away. Boom. So now we're live and we're ready to actually work in Serato DJ Pro. So when you're live in the mix, you don't want to be analyzing music like it's removed because the only thing that you're worried about is DJing now. Not analyzing music or anything like that. You're only worried about DJing. So you're going to notice that a lot of the prep work stuff is gone. The only thing you have now is your mixer on and you're ready to start mixing. So make sure that you understand how to analyze files and that your library is always, always, always analyze. This is so important. Do not make this mistake. And the only thing that I can ask is that you like and subscribe to this video. Check out more fire coming soon. I will see you the DJ connect. Let's go.